Sucker Punches, today's recommended and film for you. Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and I am your host for today. Um, today we've got a nice little simple one with a lot of action, a lot of fighting and a lot of free spirit from these uh, five young women actually. Um, Sucker Punch is a film where Emily Browning, um, aka Baby Doll in the film, uh, with four sidekicks, uh, Locked away against their against their will, uh, it's like a boarding house sort of thing, and they can't get out, and they're sort of guarded in and uh, that sort of thing. Um, and so they sort of um, induce a sleepy coma, as it were, and uh, collect like sort of keys, as it were, to try and escape through the um, sort of jail, as it were. Um, so like they go through uh, four different sort of dreams, or like somehow synchronized, or they're not really connected to each other. Um, and sort of like to sort of battle the uh, sort of the robots and sort of the uh, sort of dragons, sort of like World War One and World War Two sort of th sort of thing, like sort of trenches in one of them. There, it's very, very dark and very detailed sort of picture. It's absolutely amazing. I, I cannot fault it. It's from the director of Three Hundred, so they got the same sort of look to it, which is um, really quite something. It's got the same, yeah, the same picture, sort of the darkness, which um, sort of shadows, and it plays a bit of colour here and here, there with these sort of explosions. Um, everything's really nice. The uh, the animation of the robots and all the um, extra like pieces in the, um, the world really dream into uh, done very nicely. Uh, the music fits rather well, although sometimes I think actually getting artists to write songs sometimes ruins it. Um, some tracks in here, you know, it's a very nice tracks, but they don't really go with the film too well. I prefer where um, they get like an uh, people who make films and all that get like an orchestra and probably do it that way, getting like the sort of real tempo going in the, uh, the dramatic sort of feeling rather than just a song or something singing in the background. But don't get me wrong, this still does it well. And I do recommend it for you to watch. Um, nice black and white disc inside. Don't know why, but this one is where the we're fighting in the uh, the Chinese um, kingdom. Um, or, no, Japanese, I believe it is Japanese. I think so. It's got a sort of look to it. Um, very nice done. Although I prefer the yeah you know, the color like to the front of the book here uh, case here on the disc, but. Oh, we can't all be beggars choosers, can we? So uh, let's crack on and have a little sneaky peek at the at the background here. Um, yeah, you get Emily Browning at the front there, and a couple of the sidekicks all blasting away the guns. And this is the uh, the Germans of the trenches in World War One. I. I think another nice little biplane or we'll triplane either at the top there. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer first. Have a little peek at the readings. Uh, born from the creative vision of film Zack Snyder. Uh, this epic action fantasy launches from the vivid imagination of young women whose dreams world who dream worlds provide the ultimate escape from her uh, from dark reality. Locked away against the will, baby doll uh, has not lost her will to survive. Determined to fight for her freedom, she urges four fellow captives: a spoken rocket, street smart blondie, fiercely loyal Amber, and reluctant sweet pea. Uh, to band together and try to escape the terrible fate at the hands of their captors, um, Blue and Madame Gorski. Um, of course, we've all got the high roller, you know, like you do. Um, very nice. And uh, got some nice little bit of bonus features. I, yeah, they're okay. Um, uh, animated shorts, which is not so exciting, but it is okay, I suppose. Uh, Draw dropping prequel stories of the uh, movie's Four Fantasy Realms, which really got nothing to do with. I don't, I don't really go for it, but there we go. And you got the uh, the soundtrack. You can buy the album, the soundtrack album as well, um, of Sucker Punch. Um, you get the uh, usual sort of artists sort of singing away and uh, do a really nice job of it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave you with this one today. Uh, for Sucker Punch, go find it, go buy it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, tickle that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time for another one. Bye-bye.